Alrighty, fantastic. You are still watching hashtag Why in the Morning right here on Y254 TV. You can find us on all our social media platforms. That's on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter is at Y254 channel. Remember on Instagram, there's an underscore. And also you can find me on my socials at Brian Sako 101 That's my Twitter, Instagram, and also on Facebook. Remember, the segment is Entrepreneurship Tuesday, where we bring you uh, influential sometimes, I'll say power and a very uh, significant guests who actually come here to share insights on how you can start up a business. Where do you get those hugs? And I love that today we have quite uh, a good a number of guests who are coming through to actually take on this topic about entrepreneurship. If you are out there back at home and you want to start something for yourself to earn a living, to ensure that you make money, that's literally the most important part. We've got you right here. Now joining me live in studio, she's no new to your screen. She's been here before, not here before, but in the space before. And uh, she's a radio presenter, a media consultant, a TV presenter as well, an actress. And the one and only joining us right live in studio is Anne Mora. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you properly. In person yeah. now. Properly, right? Yeah. Right. I mean, the industry is so small, but right. it's still not small enough. You, you know, know, somebody once said Nairobi is a small bedroom. Yeah. I think it should be a small sitting room now. It's, yeah. <laughs> a yeah. living room. We're growing. We're building a house here. <laughs> right. Yeah. And I love the fact that you're here today to actually, you know, share with us a few insights on a media consultancy. Now, for a person who's watching back at home and uh, they're wondering, what is media consultancy? And first of all, what is consultancy? Okay, so consultancy is basically giving your expertise and experience into something. For me, it's media, right? So I teach uh, individuals, companies, or like let's say a podcast, how to get onto media, how to conduct interviews, um, how to structure a media plan as well so they can become more recognized and more seen uh, in the space because people don't realize how important marketing is when it comes to a product. And sometimes you are the product and right. you might be a bit lost on how how to get yourself seen and more out there. Uh, so what I do is come in, I consult, I give you a whole structured plan on what you can do to be more visible as a product. And, and visibility is very important. Now, when it comes to the financial part of it, uh, especially for, let's say, let's say, for example, for a startup, uh, somebody wants to, you mentioned podcast, somebody wants to start a podcast and they're looking for ideas and they want to come up with something that's edgy, interesting and catchy to the people who maybe they want to appeal to. Is it also something that, you know, you help people like redefine and, you know, choreograph an audience for themselves? Yes. So I teamed up with a company called Eminent Media who are based in Canada. Canada, uh, but now they have set up a shop here as well. So it makes it more easier for us to set a structure for you. Um, it's on a different case by case basis. So let's say if you're starting a podcast and you're KBC, I'm not going to charge you the same thing, but right. I will teach you some financial literacy on like, uh, this is how much you need to invest into this company. And then they also now will help you with the back end of that on how to make a website, um, how to have a financial structure and all of that. So they even put you in financial courses as well. Right. Uh, people don't realize like there's a lot of free courses in LinkedIn right, that LinkedIn, you yeah. might not know about so they normally set a structure for you like a little course that helps you get started and get going. Yeah, I love the fact that, you know, it includes financial literacy, which is like, you know, one of the biggest uh, uh, items when you're setting something for yourself, especially that you want, you know, to be visible out there to the people. Now, when it comes to financial or to, to, to the finances, are there some of the things maybe that, you know, a person should consider before even they seek maybe your services? You mentioned imminent. Uh, Are there yeah. things maybe it's like a package or something? So with Eminent Media, they now will do a case-by-case -case basis as well. So um, sometimes, let's say if you are a bigger media house or let's say if you are a restaurant or a bigger company, then yes, they will charge you. Uh, if you are starting out or you individually are the product that you want to be more put out there, then they create a foundation for you to be able to get started because you can sometimes start for free. You just need your phone um, and great content or something you need to be doing, right? right so what yeah. they do is now work with you to see how you can get your footing and then from there, they'll start to charge you once your footing is, is, is it's in place. Right, interesting. Now I want us to go back to you now, personally. Now a little bit of you. Uh, you, uh, I see you interned for Imun, that is in UNESCO, in an understudy for an ICJ judge as yeah. a previous MUN delegate in Washington, that is in the United States, The Hague and Kenya. 
So uh, would you say, is that what put you on the map towards, you know, that kind of trajectory? Living in States, you also schooled in States yes. and whatnot? Right? Yeah, I was in University of Tampa and um, when, when I interned, you know, for the IMUN and when I did the understudy judge for you know, ICJ, that gave me confidence because you're in a space with some of the best people in the world and they have this confidence. So it, it definitely gave me structure as well as this confidence that I can do anything and I can try. It also gave me another perspective on how people think. So, I mean, if you have children, I definitely would suggest putting them in like programs like MUN, IMUN, um, finding these types of things honestly gives you a better, a better set of confidence in being able to publicly speak as well. You just kind of feel, you feel yourself more, right. you, know? you know, you're able to project what you want to say a lot better. So I think these are great platforms that anyone should try out. Right, interesting details right there. Now, when you came back to Kenya, uh, you uh, in your bio is actually checking out, yeah, I'd say maybe in 2018, that's when you like officially got inducted into the Kenyan media space. Yes. And uh, maybe just to ask, are there maybe some of the hits and the misses that you've learned that maybe you as a brand and also as a consultant that you love to come and chip in and help some media stations or media companies to actually, you know, rise up on their feet again, get that good look for themselves and actually appeal to their audience. Yes, I think people need to be okay with failing, right? There's so many failures behind the scenes that people might not have noticed, but you have to be okay with failing. Um, you also have to put your best foot forward. I apply for everything. So yes, in 2018, that's when Capital, Capital One competition happened. And when you apply yourself, the only thing that can go wrong is you get a no this time. Right. And then the next time you're going to get yeses. You, eventually, if you keep on going, you get that yes. So yes, definitely there's been hits and misses behind the scenes. Um, but it's just about how you stand up, dust yourself off and restructure. It's all about restructuring what you want to achieve. Have right. a goal in mind. And then after that, you go for it. Go for it with everything that you have. And that would be my, one of my best advices to anybody. Right. Yeah. You mentioned NOS, you know, <laughs> for somebody who's starting out there back at home and uh, they want to venture into radio, yeah. not even as a host, of course, but maybe you just want to own, like uh, you mentioned podcast as well, and you're trying to reach out to some of these, you know, media managers, these media owners, some of these uh, uh, media, let's call them media maven, because I'll say you're a media marvel as oh, well. Thank you. <laughs> uh, if somebody is trying to reach out to maybe a person to actually put them on the map when it comes to their brand, how do they go about it? And if if they come to you as well as a consultant, how would you help them to get in line? I mean, I would say start by going to my website, www.anmara.com, and you'll find it very simply. It's under the media consultancy um, area. Another thing I always suggest is that people need to go onto Instagram, go onto Facebook. Your celebrities are there, media houses are there, and they check their DMs. And if you have a proper structured message of what you want to achieve, then you'd be going so much further than if you just said, hi. Right. And then nothing follows after. Say, hi, this is who I am. This is what I'm capable of doing. This is what I want to achieve. Could we just set up a meeting or a phone call or an email? Can we move it to email, which is more professional? And maybe we can go from there. So I think it's definitely using the resources that you have with you. And that is social media. It's the biggest tool that you have with you. So I would suggest using that first right. um, before storming into like a media house and saying, give me a job. Physically, right. Yeah, so I'd say use everything that you've got. And that's definitely your connections as well, your net worth. Right. Yeah. And, and speaking of social media, because uh, at least right now, especially in Kenya, like previously, we never used to have like people who are so big on the digital platform. Right now, a lot of people, especially upcoming content creators, we've had, we've now got influencers. And I love that even on this show, we've, we've hosted a couple of them. All they, the, all they are talking about is appealing content, content that's attractive now, right. content that's actually captivating for people back at home. Now, uh, let's say, for example, in a situation, because uh, I think we've got two minutes before we take a break. Mm -hmm. um, if we, uh, for example, a station wants to come up with a good outlook that's so appealing, let me, let me call it some edgy sort of, you know, mm -hmm. uh, a brand that's actually appealing to their audience. How do they go about it just shortly? So the back end is definitely study your audience, know exactly what they've liked before. So you can, mar it's market trends basically. So knowing what time to post as well, something as simple as knowing what time to post, uh, what type of content, what color scheme do they enjoy as well. Um, it's about knowing your audience and then feel like giving them the information but also so educate and entertain them right is the best way to do it so educate knowing, and entertain them yeah, educate and audience, right. yeah know your audience educate and entertain them right yeah 
And I think on that note, we are taking a short break. When we come back, we have more to actually understand and hear from Anne. She's going to share with us also some of her highs and some of her lows. Uh, how did she actually now get so solidified and fortified into the media space and finally get to do media consulting? And also mental health, Mantis mental health. And I love that the previous guest also is here to actually talk about, you know, the importance, you know, of having mental health conversations in workspaces, homes, schools, institutions, personal levels. That one is going to be coming up next after short break. Continue to interact with us on our social media. Facebook, Instagram and Twitter is at Y254 channel. My socials is at Brian Sako 101. Ensure that you keep the hashtag Y in the morning.